21 years ago this week, American peace activist Rachel Corey was bulldozed to death by Israeli forces. Corey was a 23-year-old activist from Olympia, Washington, who dreamed of activism and advocacy her whole life. My dream is to stop hunger by the year 2000. My dream is to give the poor a chance. In 2003, Corey was in Gaza as part of the International Solidarity Movement. She was a vocal critic of the Israeli regime and her own government's complicity in the plight of Palestinians. On March 16, 2003, Corey undertook a form of nonviolent direct protest as an Israeli bulldozer was threatening to demolish a Palestinian home in Rafah. She and her fellow activists attempted to prevent the demolitions by physically blocking the path of the bulldozers. Instead, the bulldozer's driver brutally rammed into Corey crushing her to death. For years, her parents attempted to seek justice, but were dismissed by Israeli courts and received no support from the American government. Perhaps the only thing more shocking than Corey's death was the response in Israel. Israeli soldiers posted photos of themselves making Rachel Corey painful.